Hello, this is Exilog with my tutorial about Dinospawns. Um, all what you need to make Dinospawns are an NPC zone manager, an NPC zone volume, and an NPC zone spawn volume. You can all find this if you type here in this line NPC, and yeah, here's all you need. First, we, we need this, it's the NPC zone volume. Um, this is for counting the dinos inside. If one dino leaves this zone, it spawns another. So you should overlap these zones that uh, it keeps the level of dinos, yeah, on, that it keeps the same level around. In this zone, you can uh, make some, uh, yeah, some some decisions. You can uh, let them only count water dinos, only count land dinos, uh, count tire, count tamed dinos with. Uh, that's used for the Tatano. Um, you can let them count only specific classes, or let them ignore those classes. Um, what's to know about uh, only counting some classes is that uh, maybe you use a cave spawn with bats and spiders in and you let him only count the bats then maybe you let him count two bats and the spawner says hey I spawn a bat and then I spawn 20 spiders and then the next bat then you have instead of two dinos, you have 22 dinos inside. So, yeah, you need to get a little bit yeah, safety with this and check if you're done all right. So for this, we let them only count land dinos because I want to use the land dinos bar. So this smaller inside is the spawn volume there are no options we needed and this head is the dino manager, the NPC manager. Um, in the NPC manager you link all the stuff you made before. So we link our zone volume inside here and added our zone volume and now we can link our spawns Um, here I use only one spawn, <coughs> but if you have a bigger zone volume and only want to have one spawn inside, you want to have two or three spawns, um, you can put more spawns up here. Put another in and uh, you can give him a white. So like, oh man, I want that only 20% spawn here and the other 80 on the other, then you can give them spawn white. So, okay, delta the second. So, that's all need to know. So, now here, NPC spawn, entry container, it's what should spawn. Um, yeah, um, I use here the Dino Spawn Entry Beach. Um, it's good to use the normal spawns that uh, are from the island, because all the mods like uh, Anunnaki and most of the Dragon mods and all mods that change uh, change the the Dino entries the dino spawn entries and they use the normal. So if you make your own dino spawn entries for your whole map, uh, much uh, the most of the, the mods don't work on it. And yeah, the players don't like it. Um, one thing that's very good, if 
wildcard um, probably bring in a new dino and you use the basic spawns and they put them into a basic spawn then you don't need to make any changes on your map because it's in. They change the beach spawn, you use the beach spawn and everything is perfect. You don't need to to wait uh, on a new update of the dev kit. You have all in, everyone is happy. So, um, well this is enabled. Um, yeah, here you can say them never spawn in water or only spawn in water. This is for the underwater spawns or the yeah the river spawns so that the fishes only <laughs> spawn in the water and not outside and die. So here you give them a count. I use five and here five two. Uh, the rest is not necessary. Yeah okay and now we can test this. Oh wait uh, we need here again a minimum player distance. Uh, we set that to 100 so we could see it if, if we're too near on this I can't show you so in the normal map you don't do this it's only for show now. Okay and you see they are spawned here on the ground this is a normal spawn works good <laughs> so okay now some special things it's like here some troubleshooting for you um, this is a very small area I made the dinos are caught in this box and this is my spawn box and it's very small so I can show you spawn manager is here yeah, 5 to 5 so if I start here every time a dino runs out of this small box a new dino spawn and then you get a really big bubble of dinos so don't make your volume too small because every time a dino runs out a new spawn inside Don't looks good so next thing um, if you make the the, the zone volume smaller than the spawn volume yeah nothing happened the spawn don't work so this is something I like so now you see the zone volume is as big as the box they can spawn in this is the spawn box I did some rocks inside and here are the normal spawns okay what you see is that the dinos spawn in the air and fall down this is yeah very normal for spawn if you don't do something special I show you no problem so so here is the other version same build and see what happened yeah no dinos falling down they only spawn on the ground so how did I make this? This is my spawn manager and here I can set default zone spawn volume floor tag and this 
says landscape. So the dinos only spawn on things that are tagged with landscape. So let me see, this is the ground. And I tagged the ground here, tags, with landscape. So the dinos only spawn on the landscape, not on the rocks, only on the landscape. This is very good if you do a beach and have, yeah, most of the beach spawn is with water and then you have some rocks only looking out of the water. The dinos spawn on it if you don't do this. And you don't want to have, yeah, a lonely bronto on a small rock standing, it looks terrific. So now I can show you. I made some water, physic volume here. So this is now a water volume. You don't see water, it's only, it's physically there. So this is what happened if you lose, if you use uh, this with the landscape tag. Nothing happens because there's water. They can't spawn on the landscape because it's over. It's, yeah, there's water on it, and uh, they they don't spawn on the rocks. Here I say them. I said him, never spawn in water. So. On this, I don't tag the landscape. Here is no default zone spawn volume floor tag. And here, this is not tagged. So they only don't spawn in water. Here is water, so let's check. Yeah, all spawn in the air and on the on the rocks. Let's make this water a little bit higher. So they really swim inside. Yeah, you see. They spawn on the rocks and <laughs> swim around. <laughs> so if you have a spawner and only some rocks there, they spawn on the rocks, even if you don't want it. So better use the landscape tag on your whole landscape, tag it with landscape and say that the, that the floor tag is landscape. This makes it much easier and yeah, you don't have dinos that spawn in middle air and flow to the ground. Yeah, um, I hope this helps. And uh, yeah, have fun with your dinosaurs.